Alright, hello everybody, Terok37 here, and, um, welcome to a, um, I guess combination update and new Let's Play. Um, so KOTOR 2 refuses to work properly. Um, it just outright refuses. It's constantly lagging for some reason that I can't. Uh, I can't figure out. So I'm going to um, try a new something new for me at least. Um, I'm going to do the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind Open Morrowind uh, using Open Morrowind, which does a few bug fixes, makes it a bit stable without doing like taking too much away. There's no graphical. Uh, fixes currently, um, but this will have, uh, this does have uh, all the DLC and uh, Tamriel rebuilt. So, I still, despite, despite me not, um, uh, despite me having Tamriel rebuilt for a long time, I still have yet to actually um, do any of Tamriel Rebuilt, so this is going to be the first time I actually do it. They have taken you from the Imperial City's prison, first by carriage and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? I will go with... Tarak, because that's all I can think of. Sure, they'll let us go. Quiet. Here comes the guard. This is where you get off. Come with me. Hmm. All right. Let's get moving. <sighs> so yeah, I'm sorry about Kotor two, and I've started you using the Elder King's um, SVN, which means that it's constantly changing and I don't trust the... Get yourself up on deck and let's keep this as civil as possible. I don't trust it not to, um... This is where they want you. break my down, game if I... after a certain point, so... You finally arrived. Alright, um, I think, I don't know, I kind of want to do something I don't normally do. You know what, I'll be a high elf. It's a major pain, because I'm going to be weak to magic as I'm casting spells, but I'm also going to be more resistant to common diseases, and I'll have a lot more magic to work with, so... Uh, okay, for a minute there I was worried that... Every half, half elf, every high elf guy had the same face. That would be really weird. All right. Yeah, that. There aren't exactly a lot of great faces in Morrowind. I'm gonna be honest, but hmm. It happens. All right. Let's do this. Great. I'm sure. Right. High elves are the tallest. Follow me up to the office, and they'll finish your release. So one cool thing about this uh, Open Morrowind is that they already have a toggle sneak button. So yeah, that's something that was really missing actually in Morrowind. It would have really helped to just be able to toggle them because before you had to hold down the control button and that was very annoying. We've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this and the choice is yours. I'll just fill out the forms myself. Alright, uh, instead of Adventure Explorer, B. 
because that's what I'm hoping to do in this, is just explore uh, Morrowind in its entirety. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to do is uh, we're, we're going to make a beeline for Vivek with our money, and because when uh, last time I played, there was a uh, new uh, guild mage who can teleport you towards... Uh, it looked like uh, mainland Morrowind, so. And but I still want to do mostly magic, and I'm gonna have intelligence and willpower as is tradition. Um, let's see here. Alchemy, destruction, chanting. I'll do restoration. Um, conjuration too. Okay. I'll do mysticism here, unarmored here, blunt weapon so I can use staves or staves or however you're supposed to pronounce it, uh, alteration, and um, I don't want to do illusion, although do I want to do illusion? Illusion has the night vision spell and that'd be nice to have. I think instead though I'll do... Um, I don't know, I guess Mercantile. Mm, let's see. Blind, Illuminate, Paralyze, Common Rage, Charm, Distract, Camouflage, Render, Invisible. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'll do I'll do Mercantile just for a little boost. Um, yeah. Very good. The letter that preceded, you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? Okay, definitely not doing the Apprentice because that basically doubles all the damage I take from magic. Um, I'm tempted to do this one just because there's a chance I can absorb any magic thrown at me, and it double and it boosts my magicka even more. But then there's the Stunted Magicka thing, which what that does, if you don't know, is it makes it impossible to regenerate magicka naturally by resting. You have to take potions to do it, which that could be problematic if we're like down in the dungeon and we can't even rest. So I'm th wondering if maybe... No, probably not that. Uh, the mage is too easy. It's just kind of boring, honestly. I don't like the serpent because it hurts yourself at the same time. Uh, warrior, no. Thief, maybe. Uh, if I do the lady, fortifies personality and endurance. Um, you know what, let's do that. It's a bit, it doesn't really boost anything except my mercantile, which is a minor skill, but whatever. Um, let's see here. So yeah, personality is now at 65, endurance is at 65, intelligence at 60, willpower at 50. Uh, and let's see. Oh, illusion was one of his good skills. Oh, oh well. I have no powers, but in terms of spells, I have healing, hearth heal, Water walking, bound dagger, summon ancestral ghost, and fire bite. So, all looks good. All right. All right. And just powering through the tutorial. Continue through to the next building and talk to All right. Okay. So, I'll pick up the dagger. I'll do some of this tutorial stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Alright. And now, I'll probably just sell that dagger since I don't really... Oh. Right. Uh, Alright, uh, and then, let's see, now the map menu, blah, blah, blah. Alright, barrel, grab the ring. Now I have my magic menu. And... I guess I'll go with this, probably. Um, let's see, background. All right. Sorry if I'm, like, blowing past all this, but I'm not really planning on doing the main quest at the moment, so this is more just a, I'm trying to get rid of all this as fast as possible. Yes. All right, and, all right, now I go talk to this guy ring. Yes, I found it. Here, take it. And now tell me the rumor about Solstheim. Alright, cleared that out. Alright. 
I don't know how much I'm actually going to be role playing in this because like I've played Morrowind enough, especially this beginning part that I know everything. I know Fargal's secret stash is down there. I go away. Um let's see any rumors other than that. Okay. All right, I'll sell him this iron dagger. And then what I want to get is this silver staff. Um, yeah, I don't think there's much else I can get. So, yeah. Uh, you want uh, silver in this game because I don't think they do this in Skyrim. I'm pretty sure they don't. Uh, but in this game, there are some creatures that can only be heard by m enchanted weapons or silver weapons or Daedric weapons, like basically you can't hit a ghost without a special weapon. So, since we might be running into some of those ghosts, I think it's probably a good idea to have a silver staff on hand. And is there anything else I want from this guy? Oh shoot, I forgot to... okay. Well. So, one thing I'm gonna do is ignore all the dark elves, elves that are just randomly talking to some guy passing by, I'm and ignore the imperial guards asking. I'm I, I, I'm not talking to you. All right, uh, I'm gonna do some gathering of. Oh, thank you. That's actually very nice of you. Um, so. Yeah, uh, one thing I'm going to start doing is uh, gathering ingredients and... <sighs> Alright, so what I'm going to need to do is we're going to need... What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to start um, getting money because I need money to get spells. That hasn't changed. changed in all the games. You still need money to buy spells. Um... Oh, hey, no mud crab yet. Okay, so I know there's an axe in here. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it, though. Um, so essentially what I'm doing is I'm just gathering a bunch of all chemical ingredients. And if this... Nope. Alright, no mud crab. Well... So yeah, I'm just going to gather as many ingredients as I can, and so we are going to go to Balmora first, uh, like the, that's the first major city we're going to, and the reason we're going there is because I can join the Mages Guild, do a few quick quests, including this one that I'm gathering ingredients for, and um, you know, might as well practice. I wonder if the guards are going to attack my ghost. I don't remember if that... I vaguely remember that being a thing in this game. I hope they don't. But yeah, um... One important thing about, um... Just like all Elder Scrolls games, the more you do stuff, the better you get at it. So, the more I cast this Conjuration spell, or any Conjuration spell, the, high, uh, the more XP I get for it, which increases the... And eventually I'll get a point in the skill, and that'll um, add to my level up. But in Morrowind, as opposed to Skyrim, you only get XP, um, an experience point, one of the ten experience points you need towards level increase, when one of your major or minor skills increases by one. So when my athletics inevitably goes up by one, that doesn't affect my progress towards level increase. It will affect if I get a bonus to one of these attributes when I choose to level up. Oh. Oops. Nope. Put your pants back on. Uh, okay. Um, another thing about this game is that fatigue affects how well you cast your spells. In this game, there is a chance when you cast a spell that it will fail. Which is frustrating when it happens. But it's also a very good reason to up your uh, 
Oh, looks like my ghost has faded away. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I guess people like me a lot more because I have a high personality. All right. So the next question I have is, do I go in the freaking? I'm listening. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I should. Okay, I'm gonna do it. If I die, well, that still won't be the end because I've beaten. I've died many times, but I've still beaten this. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go into the smuggler's cave. We're gonna kill the smugglers, take their contraband, and then we are going to walk towards Balmora, gathering more alchemical ingredients for quests, and then once I've gotten enough spells that I feel like I can handle anything, uh... Ow! Ow! I'll get better at this eventually. No Ow. Alright, this is getting annoying. There we go. Alright. One thing I forgot to do, I will set quick keys. Uh, hearth heal. Firebite. Um... Summon Ancestral Ghost, um, I guess Bound Dagger, and then, since I don't have a ton of spells right now, yeah. So. Alright. Gonna grab the gold. Gonna grab the key. Gonna grab the dagger, because we're gonna be selling it. Alright. All right, ghost. Quick save, real quick. And this guy's gonna charge. All right, ghost. I'm gonna need you to guard me, pretty please. Ow! 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 Yeah. No. <laughs> See, that's why. Um, this is dangerous, and that's why I was really, really hoping that my ghost would actually, you know, do something instead of stand around being an idiot. Alright. Alright. I Ghost, I'm going to need you desperately to not be a jerk. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So, we're not. We're not. Okay? I'm not ready. I don't... I can't fight that guy. M my ability to... the fact that I'm taking an extra 50% damage from whatever fire spell that guy's throwing at me is being a real pain right now, so we're not doing that. Um, yeah, so with that failure, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it, and if I ever get KOTOR 2 fixed, I will start recording that again. Thank you. Bye.